YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back with some quick fix videos for you guys on Hayward's Aquabug. This is their suction side above ground pool cleaner. So we're gonna kind of dive in and show you guys how to replace some of the internal parts. So stay tuned. All right guys, and we're back. So again, today we have um, Hayward's Aquabug. This is their above ground suction side pool cleaner. Uh, you guys can attempt to try to use that for an in-ground pool, but I highly suggest that you don't. It's meant for a much smaller body of water. So we're going to do some quick fixes for you guys. Uh, we've actually removed the entire A-frame kit along with the pods and your pads as well as the wing kit. So we've actually already done all that. So if you guys want to know how to do that, make sure you guys check out the links in the description. We're going to have videos for you guys tearing this thing from the outside in. So we've actually already gotten down to this part right now. So we're going to show you guys how to actually take apart this A-frame kit and get access to these bearings on the A-frame. They do not remove, they are meant to be an entire assembly. It's actually like uh, plastic pieces that have already been molded with some lock washers on there for these bearings. So once this breaks, unfortunately, it's just time to actually swap these out. So we're gonna show you guys by removing the pod kits as well as the wing kits to get access to the A-frame. So just bear with us. Typically the tools that you're going to need for this, um, it's not just a one tool type of job. You're going to need a flathead, a Phillips, as well as a driver. So I just have a screwdriver here that just took the bit out. So if you guys actually use that standard driver bit, then that'll actually help you guys get this main screw out that we get to. So first thing you're going to do is there's a Phillips head screw here located on the top. That's actually holding a clamp that will actually keep both of the A-frames together. So we're going to go ahead and remove that screw. Again, anytime that you're ever dealing with these cleaners, get away from the water because the last thing that you guys want to do is drop any of these screws into the water um, and make it difficult. So find a nice flat surface. So your small screw has got a locking washer on it as well. So make sure that when you guys tear this whole thing apart, you guys kind of line it all out on the table. So then that way you guys have how everything goes back together. That way you're not trying to scramble and figure out one piece. So once you remove that, you guys can actually see that it looks like you should be able to just take these uh, A-frames out. Unfortunately, you are going to have to remove some other parts from the outside. So you guys can see they actually have one on each side of these pod kits. It's just like a plug. So go ahead and grab a Phillips head screwdriver, whatever you got, something to just use as a pry. You don't want to pry too hard, but you're going to go ahead, pop out the cap and set that off to the side. And then once the caps popped out, you guys can actually see here in the hole, it has that um, the nut driver tool. So you're going to actually need to remove this um, long screw. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Can be a little this is a brand new cleaner for us to show you guys so it's a little tight so i'm going to go ahead move the screw this does not have a specific um, like pre-done drilled hole it goes into the plastic every time so you guys don't want to do this too often because once you guys actually start doing that you're going to run into the risk of the plastic stripping then you're going to need to buy a new a-frame a new a-frame so from there, you just can kind of wiggle back and forth and you can actually remove the entire pod kit. The pod kit actually will have the wing attached. It's really, really nice if you guys want to remove the wings. They're pretty simple. It's a, it's a really thin plastic for you guys. So you're just going to kind of pull them over the tabs. It'll actually pull off. And then uh, in a future video, we'll actually show you guys how to replace these pods on the bottom, which are actually your feet of the cleaner that drag across the bottom of the floor. So they do wear and tear. So you do want to make sure that you replace these. But for today, we want to show you guys how to get this pod off and then show you then from there how to get access to this A-frame. The next step that you're going to go for, again, grab your, your Phillips or your flathead and you're just going to kind of pry out this green piece, which is actually just a cap again it's just a placeholder in there it makes sure that this thing doesn't rotate and get too wobbly and it just keeps everything in place there so you do need to remove that first and then once you did that you guys can actually pull the entire a-frame back through the center of the frame so when you're going to put everything back together you guys want to make sure again that you have everything laid out in front of you so you guys don't get these things confused it can be uh, a lot of pieces here for you guys and then obviously to attack the right side you're going to do the exact same steps to replace the entire kit and put this thing back together. So 
This uh, A-frame is really important in the functionality of the cleaner. It allows it to kind of go over the surfaces. So you guys do want to make sure that these bearings are in good working condition. Uh, the good thing is, is Hayward actually has a full kit available for this. It is an A-frame kit. So you guys can actually check out the links in the description, come directly to the site. We have that kit available for you guys to completely replace it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. Again, if you guys want to know more information about this cleaner, check out our website. If you guys want to see more videos on tearing this thing apart and diving even deeper into the aqua bug, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because we're going to have a ton of videos coming your way. So until then, I'm Kyle from ePool Supply and we'll see you next time.